All right, so continuing on, now we're going to add our animation for the ailerons. So we'll add our plane axis empty. Bring it over here and we'll do our uh, rotate. Let's see, that was 1.6 we decided. Jump into our side view here. Uh, wireframe real quick so we can get an idea of where we're at. And on that aileron, I think the hinge is kind of about there. Maybe even a little farther. There we go. All right. And we still need to bring it up to kind of that center point. Let's actually jump back into wireframe just to make sure we're kind of Looking at the right line there. This might even be easier if we select this aileron real quick. We've got this empty selected Shift H to hide everybody else so that we can get a better feel for our location. Like it right there. All right, Alt H to bring everything back. If you still want to see it, we don't actually need to see it, but uh, it kind of helps visualize things. Okay, I'm going to select this. This time, I'm going to add the data ref real quick before we duplicate. So now I'm looking for aileron one, right there. Okay, and this is going to be okay. So now we can go ahead and Shift D to duplicate on the X. We need to rotate it the other direction, so we're going to rotate. that. I'm going to jump into wireframe again real quick just to make sure we're lined up in the right spot there. That looks pretty good. Okay. So now that we've got those in position, this time I'm going to remember to grab both of them. And I'm going to mark we only need a rotation on this, we don't need a location, so I'm going to change that just to rotation. And then I'll mark that frame. Now here, we're going to rotate on the local X by 17. Hit enter. Mark that keyframe. You'll notice that you didn't see the ailerons move, and that's because I didn't parent them yet. Um, but we, it'll work still. So we're going to jump to our next keyframe. We'll go ahead and rotate these on that local X. This time we're going to go negative 17 back to our neutral spot. Mark that keyframe. Jump another frame. Rotate on the local X. This time another negative 17. Mark that keyframe. Now that I've animated this, but I didn't parent, we need to go back to our neutral position before we do the parent. So I'm back at my neutral position. Now I can grab this aileron, shift select, control P, set that parent. I can also come over here Grab this aileron, shift select, control P. If you do that while you're while things have moved, if you were in one of your rotations, then your rotation will look wrong. Okay, so now we've got these animated. They're both they both appear to be looking going the same direction, but that doesn't matter as Blender sees it because X plane 
is going to look at that differently. You also notice over here on the aileron I still need to animate and parent that trim tab. But let's uh, set up our our uh, X-plane keyframes real quick. So on this right aileron we will go right here and do a value of uh, let's see this was gonna be 17 degrees because on this uh, data ref we're going by degrees and we'll mark that We'll go to our next one, which is going to be zero. We'll mark that. Go to our next one, and that'll be negative 17. And we'll mark that. Now, so they work opposite of each other. We go to this left aileron. And now instead of how we put this one as negative 17, this one's going to become positive 17. And we'll mark that. Go back to zero. Mark it. And we'll go back here. And this will now be the negative 17. And we'll mark it. And now, even though they still don't show going opposite here, in x-plane they will. Now if, for some reason, those are going backwards so you're trying to bank right and it shows like you're banking left then you would just come in and reverse those numbers so the right side where you're positive 17 you would change that to the negative and where you were negative you would change that to the positive and you would do that for both the left and the right animations and then it would work so at this point you would just export and uh, test it out in the sim I'm also going to animate that uh, trim tab, but uh, if you need to see how to do that, I've already put up the video on how I animated the trim tab with the elevator, and it's the same. So uh, you should be good to go.